Dawson. Hi, Jen. Hi, uh, how you doing? Great, great, you? Great, Hi. great, uh, Dawson? Uh, look, I know that, that sometimes after a breakup, well, there's that awkward period where, you know, where two people who used to have so much to say to each other suddenly find their conversations reduced to the merest of small talk. Just what are you saying? I'm saying what somebody always says and what somebody else never wants to hear, but... But do you think it's possible in, in any conceivable way that we could still be friends, Dawson? So she asked you if you'd be her friend. What do you say? I didn't say anything, really. I just kind of stared at her. And then I told her I needed time to think about it. That's okay, Dawson. We still got some work to do here, but I think we can salvage this. What are you talking about? Well, <laughs> just between you and me, you have no interest in simply being Jen's friend. I mean, you're still carrying around this huge torch for that has no hope of extinguishing itself anytime too soon, correct? Yeah. And the last person who needs to know about this eternal flame is Jen. What serves your purpose here is to let her know that you're completely over, okay? It's yesterday's news. That's the quickest way to the ultimate goal of getting Jen back. Yeah, but how do I do that? Hey, Dot. Hey, Mary Beth. So I hear we're getting our midterms back today. Yeah? <laughs> Can't wait. No, okay. Upgrading Jen to girlfriend status is really a two-pronged attack, but the first thing you gotta do is let her know that you're completely cool with the idea of being her friend, okay? The quicker you can feign some sort of indifference, the less special she's gonna feel. And the less special she feels, the more she's gonna crave that very special feeling that comes with being Dawson Leary's girlfriend, okay? And it's a feeling that's not included in the friend package. I can do that. So what's the second thing? Slow down, my friend. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Okay, the rumor... It's true, you will be getting your midterm exams back today. Good news is, most of you did quite well. But before I hand them back, I'd like to see the following people after class. Those people are Pacey Witter. Well, I guess that's it. Look, Pacey. I know you're a bright kid. <laughs> you know what I did first thing after I finished grading your exam? You stopped laughing? I went to the guidance office and looked at your standardized test scores. You have an aptitude for this stuff, Pacey. So when a student who's really bright makes a 32 on a midterm, you know whose fault that is? Yours? Of course not. It's entirely yours. Look, look, maybe marine biology is not your thing. All right, fine, I'm not offended. But I'm gonna make you an offer that I highly recommend you accept. I want you to complete an extra credit project for me. Show me that you understand everything that we're learning here, and I'll pass you by the skin of your teeth. Yeah, <laughs> sure, what do I have to do? Well, first, you have to wait for a student from my sixth period class to arrive. Great, another rocket scientist, I presume. And then I'm going to assign a project that the two of you will work on after school and on free periods. Hi, Dr. Ann. Oh, um... I can come back, you know, no. in your free time. No, 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 you're right on schedule, Joey. I'd like you to meet your new lab partner. Him? Her? It, Dr. Rand, I'd like to lodge a formal protest. You never told me I was going to be working with a repressed control freak. Yeah, and you never said my grade was dependent upon some remedial underachiever. Well, wonderful. I see no introductions are necessary. <sighs> Jen. Hi. Oh, hi. Um, I'm a little embarrassed. You asked me a very simple question earlier, and I really should have given you a very simple answer. Jen, I would love to be your friend. Really? Absolutely. And to ease any of your remaining doubts, let's prove it to you. Okay. Okay. So, let's have a friendly conversation. How was your day? Not too bad, and yourself? Excellent, thank you. Any exciting plans for the upcoming weekend? Look, Dawson, you're, you know, your friendship means a lot to me, but, uh, but maybe this isn't such a good idea. Yeah, come on, we're friends now, okay? Look, whatever it is, I think I can take it. Okay. Okay, well then, in the name of friendship, however misguided, I have a, a date with Cliff this weekend. Uh, we're going to the carnival on Saturday. 